Iran protests at least 450 arrested in northern province. At least 450 people have been arrested in Mazandaran, a northern province of Iran, during the last 10 days of protests, according to the province chief prosecutor. Protests sparked by the death in a police custody of a 22 years old Masha Amini have spread across the country. They have been met with internet shutdowns and violence repressions. The official death toll in the unrest is 41, while human rights groups say the true number is more than 75. Amnesty International said at least four children had been killed by state forces since the beginning of the protests. It described a harrowing pattern of deliberate and unlawful furring of life ammunition at protesters. Heba Morefa Amnesty Middle East and North Africa directors said the rising death toll is an alarming indication of just how ruthless the authorities' assault on humans' life has been under darkness of the internet shutdown. Iranian officials said on Monday that more than 1,200 people had been arrested at the dangerous against the protest within. Demonstrator took the street again on Monday night in Tehran and elsewhere. Witnesses told agents France Press. Video film from several floors above the streets, purportedly in the city of Tabriz, show people protest to the sound of the tear gas canisters being fired by security forces, an image published by also based group Iran Human Rights. The group said at least 76 people has been killed in the crackdown. Amini was visiting Tehran when she was arrested by morality police who took issue with the way she had veiled her hair. While the police maintain she died of natural costs, her family say she was tortured and killed. During the journey to the police station, she was tortured and insulted. Amini's cousin Efren Mortezin told Sky News, She suffered a concussion from a blow to the head. There is a report from Kassar Hospital that says effectively by the time she reached the hospital, she is already dead from a medical point of view. Despite effort, to stop Iranian from accessing apps such as Instagram and WhatsApp, video of people allegedly killed during the protests have been spread on social media. Parents of young people killed during the protests have expressed disappointment at the response from the international community. People expect the UN to defend us and the protester, said the father of a 21 years old Milan Hanigi, quoted by Anesti International. I too can condemn. The whole world can condemn them. But to what end this condemnation? Videos show protests on Sunday night in Tehran and cities including Zad, Isfahan, and Boucher. The Norway-based Kurdish right group Hengwa said a protest was held in Amini's hometown of Sadisk despite a heavy military presence. And there were reports of a 10-year-old girl being taken to the hospital after she was shot in the northern town of Bukan. Other reports said students at three university in Tehran were refusing to attend lesson. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.